Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to explore the updated challenge lab, explore generative AI with the Gemini AI in Vertex AI. So let's get started. So this lab will cost five credits. So I'm using my five credits to launch the lab. Now open the instruction menu and click on the task one so in task one we are going to generate text using gemini so this code we are going to run in our terminal copy this code come over here open the cloud shell now paste the code here and run it next we are going to enable the apis let's come to the cloud console click on this vertex ai Now enable all recommended APIs, just click on this. So the recommended API is enabled now. Let's move to the instruction tab. So for this lab, we are going to use Gemini 2.0 flash 001 model. And if you want, you can copy and run this in Vertex AI. Let's check our progress. Task 1 is completed. If you want, you can check this one. Just copy this prompt. Come over here. Open the Vertex AI Studio. Paste here and run it. Make sure to use the model Gemini 2.0 flash 001. So this is the model and then you can run. Now let's come to the instruction tab. So task 1 is completed. In task 2 we are going to open the notebook in Vertex AI Studio. So let's come to the cloud console. Now we are in Vertex AI, just scroll down and click on this workbench. You will get under notebooks. Click on this open Jupyter lab. Okay, so now I'm not able to see any files here. So what we'll do? just close this tab and click on this checkbox then click on reset so it will reset this jupyter lab wait for some moments so it will take around two to three minutes okay so now it's open here you can see we have two files now let's come to the instruction tab. So we have done this process. So in task three, we are going to create a function call using Gemini. So first we are going to open this file called Gemini Explorer Challenge. Double click on this file. First thing you need to check is your kernel here. So it should be Python 3. And now here we are going to set the google cloud project information and create client here we are going to insert our project id so you can copy the project id from here and paste it here then location copy this region and paste here Next, we are going to copy our model and we are going to paste it here. Let's remove. So copy this model name and paste it here. 
now here we are going to insert the class name so class name will be function declaration Okay, so in task 3.3, here we have to write the class name. So remove this and type tool. In task 3.4, we have to insert tool to use. Copy this weather tool and paste here. In task 4, we are going to describe video content using Gemini and in task 4.1, here we have to use the same model which is Gemini 2.0 slash 001. Copy and simply paste here and here no need to do any changes. Now in task 4.2, we are we have to insert the video url here so come here and copy this video url then paste here in this line uh, we have to use the correct method name and type generate generate contain stream now everything looks fine let's come to the first line click on this first line then click on this run run selected cell and all below now the kernel is busy and here the kernel is restarting click on ok now come to this line select this line then click on run run selected cell and all below so it will automatically run all the cells and it's done okay so here i forgot to input the correct class name remove this I part now run this cell and kernel is still busy and yeah here is the result now let's come to the instruction tab now check the progress So yeah, we got green tick for two and this is still loading. Yeah, it's completed 100. Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you like the step and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.